Magandang po sa gawain ng Panginoon sa J.R. King Church. Kami po ay natutuwa dahil nandito po kayo ngayon. And we are blessed sa presence nyo. Maraming salamat po at uh, before we start the uh, praise and worship, hinihiling ko po, please uh, check our uh, mobile phones. Kung hindi pa po naka-silent, kindly put into silent mode. Salamat po. May I request everyone to please rise. At sisimula na po natin ang worship proper. And let us put ourselves in the presence of our Lord in prayer to be led by our dear Pastor God. Praise the Lord. It is written in the Word of God. We draw near to Him, He will draw near to us. Amen. And the Word of God also says that if we confess our sins to Him, He is righteous and just to forgive us, and He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let's approach the throne of grace of our Abba Father with confidence. Abba Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we approach your throne of grace, Abba Father. Lord, forgive us, O God, for, from all our iniquities, from all our sins, Panginoon. From everything that we have, di we have done, directly or indirectly, lo Lord, that is not fitting or not right in your eyes, O God. But we're claiming, Lord, the Lordship and our Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, that we can approach your throne of grace with confidence, O God, for we are covered with His most precious blood, the lamb of, the blood of the Lamb, O God. Lord, look at your children, O God. Look at your people, O God. For it is written in your word, Lord, you are going to be praised. You are going to be exalted in the assembly of your people, O God. Lord, we're exalting your name, Lord Jesus Christ, in, the, in our midst. No other name, but the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us, Lord. Help us, Lord, because it is you alone, Holy Spirit, who will teach us, who will guide us on how to properly worship in spirit and in truth. This is our prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, in the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to God. Hallelujah. No. Look at each other. Look at each one. Yeah. You're looking at someone that the Father God in heaven loves so much. Amen. The Word of God says that He lavished His love on us and He loved us with an eternal, everlasting love. Amen. And in the Word of God, in John 3 16, we all know this verse. That God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall never perish but have everlasting life. Amen? And it is written in His Word that before, while we were sinners, He first loved us. Amen? And this is how we know that God's love is indeed beautiful. Amen? So we're going to sing. We're going to worship Him using our voices, using the instruments. Every one of us, are, is going to sing because we have only one audience. Amen. The Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, we lift in the name of our mighty Lord Jesus Christ in our midst. Mga kapatid, sumayan po tayo sa Panginoon. Let there be joy in worshiping Him.
Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, we see there when God called Abram and told him to go to a land that he will show him. The Lord said, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curse you, I will curse. And all the people on earth will be blessed through you. You know, the writer of this song, Waymaker, that we are going to sing was inspired by these very words of God because it shows that God is a way maker that God keeps his promises man and God is the one who makes miracles it shows that whatever the word of God is it shall come to pass it shows that God is powerful enough he is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine he is a miracle worker and he is the one who will make a way even in the wastelands or even in the desert and in our life there will come a time there will come a time when it seems all is lost Parang wala na mangyayari, mga kapatid. we are at the edge of everything that we've got Parang wala nang magagawa, wala na tayong kayang gawin. And what do we do? We cry out to Him, Abba. Abba, Father, we cry out to Him. And the Word of God says that He is our ever-present help in time of need. And then there will come a time that everything falls into place. And we say with amazement, how did this happen? Lord, paano nangyari to? Everything becomes okay, becomes all right. I have done nothing, Lord. But what we did, we prayed to Him. We give our confidence to Him. We give our trust to Him. We believe. We have faith in what He can do. And that is the time that we can say, Lord, it was You. It was You. It was You. It was You, Lord. It was You, Father God. It was you who did this, Lord. And so we say, praise you, Lord. We say, praise you, Lord. Come on, church. Let's say, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Sweet and Lord in your word, even up to this day, Lord, our Father is still working. He will never cease to work for his children. Hallelujah. We know, Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you are in our midst right now. You are working in this place, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are here. Hallelujah. Lord, that He is here, Lord. Let's raise up holy hands to 
the Lord in our act of worship. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you.
when everything seems there, Lord. Yung parang wala nang mangyayari, Lord. It seems nothing is happening on that. But we know in our hearts, we discern it, Lord. And give us the discernment, Lord. The wisdom, Lord, to see. The wisdom, Lord, to understand. The wisdom, Lord, to see that it is indeed you who is working in our midst, in our lives, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives. We want to be in your presence, Father God. We want to be with you, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to be in your presence, Lord Jesus. We want to be. We want, we want to be with you in every step that we make, Lord Jesus. In everything that we do, Lord Jesus. In everything that we think about, Lord Jesus. In every plan, in every trial, in every circumstance, Lord Jesus. We know you are with us and you are working. Amen, church. God is working. Amen. Amen. Whatever trials you are experiencing, whatever victories, remember this. It is God. It is our Father in heaven who's making the way. He's the one who makes the miracles. And He is the one who will keep His promises to the end of time and to eternity. Amen. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. We glorify you, Lord, and your people will say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Holy Lord, God, your presence. Holy Lord. Oh God, thank you for being with us in our praise and worship to you, Lord God. You deserve all the praises, all the glory, all the adoration, oh God. Thank you, thank you Lord, for reminding us who you are, oh God, and what you can do, Lord God, in our lives. We honor you, Lord God. We praise you and we entrust the rest of this service to you, O oh God. Let your name be glorified and let your people experience more of you, O oh God. More of your miracles, more of your power, more of your healing, more of your presence, O oh God. We praise you, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pwede na po tayong makaupo. our uh, first timer and we declare that we declare that this is not their first time and we pray that uh, they will continue to attend in this church because they will experience God's love and God's power and we would like to welcome Ati RV Joy uh, please. She is from Ilocos, Ilocano. So welcome po at the RV Joy. Also to those who are with us online, to those who are new, uh, we would like to introduce our church. Our church is Jesus the Resurrected King International Ministry Church. And uh, we have our holding verse, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in his great mercy, 
He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen? Amen. Uh, you know, God's grace has given us a new start in life. A life with confidence in the future. Because the resurrection of Jesus has given us evidence that we will also be resurrected into glory through him. So our hope, our life will not stop here. This is only the beginning. And ito, uh, this is the uh, church mission statement. To facilitate the growth of relationship to God of every living soul that God will entrust to JRC. And our church vision is a congregation with a strong re relationship with God that is full of the Holy Spirit and love for one another. So, yun po. And now po, um, we will now proceed to God's message. And uh, I would like to call the speaker. I know he is a servant of God who will continue to teach us from the book of Philippians chapter 2. Let's uh, welcome po Kuya Kenneth. Ayan. Thank you, Atemily. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, brothers and sisters. Can you greet your uh, seatmate? Uh, I am blessed that you are here. I am blessed that you are here. Praise the Lord. Ayan. Um, uh, I, yes. Kamusta kayo? Kamusta sa mga nanonood sa online? Uh, can you greet them? Can you wave on the online? Yeah, yeah. Kung nakikita kayo, yan. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, I'm uh, grateful that uh, it's Friday again. And uh, we believe that not only Friday, we should worship Him every day, di ba? And uh, I thought I will not uh, uh, speak in English, you know. I'm happy kaina eh, but, but I'm still happy. I already talked, uh, I already... All right. Praise God. I'm nervous. Are you? <laughs> uh, I, uh, every time I speak here, I, I have courage in the, in the chair, eh, but I, when I stand here, my, uh, with this, with this, uh, my, legs, my legs are shaking. But uh, I believe that the Lord will help us. And also, we, you, uh, the Lord uh, will help you to, to understand. My message will not uh, last along because my English is limited to offer. So, uh, bear with me. Alright? Okay. So, we'll start now. Uh, I have a story, but it's in uh, English. I am in, in Tagalog. I did not prepare because I'm expecting, uh, you know, you know. All right. So, I have a uh, story here. So, if I will translate this in English, I know it will take one day. So I'll speak first in uh, Tagalog huh? or my uh, Filipino, but I will translate later what is the uh, message or the lesson of the story. All right? Uh, by the way, our uh, uh, message today is uh, coming from Philippians uh, chapter 2, 12 to 18. This is a continuation of a uh, lesson we we had uh, uh, last Friday with uh, Brother Leo. All right, so I have a story first. Uh, I will speak in Tagalog. Kapit, ang ka, ang, uh, pag, uh, pang, ang pamagat nito ay kapitbahay. Isang beses sa isang linggo, pumupunta si Mary sa kapilya para manalangin. O para manalangin. Sumasamba at pag-usapan ng mensaheng narinig sa kanilang panambahan. Parang tayo. You know, uh, sa iba linggo, sa, dito sa Qatar, it's Friday. Alright? So, masaya siya sa paggawa nito. Nang dumating ang araw ng pagpunta niya sa kapilya, tuwang-tuwa siya. Dahil makikita na naman niya ang kanya mga brethren, makikita niya naman niya ang kanya mga kaibigan. Tayo ba pag nandito, masaya po pa tayo? Masaya po ba tayo? Amen. Siyempre. 
kasi it's a long weekend. Uh, first of all, we are we are masaya para kay Lord, no? The message. Secondly, of course, sa ating mga brethren, di ba? So, ganun tuloy si Mary. Tuwang-tuwa siya. At, uh, tuwang-tuwa siya dahil makikita naman niya ang kanyang mga kaibigan. Alam niyang magiging magandang pag-uusapan nila, yung mensahe. So, tatalakayin kasi nila ang pag-uusapan nila sa kapilya at kung paano nila ito isasagawa sa magbola that linggo up to uh, Sabado or uh, Friday. Ano? So, nung papunta na siya, nang saktong paalis na si Mary, ay mayroon dumating. Sinabi ng dumating, ako si Sue, or Sue, S-U-E. Ano? Sue, kapitbahay niyo. Pasensya na kung nakakaabala ako. May gagawin ka ba? Sabi niya kay Mary. Sasabihin sana ni Mary na pupunta siya sa kapilya, pero nagpatuloy si Sue sa pagsasalita. Ano? Ipapagawa ko kasi ang aking sasakyan sa talyer. Karaniwang naglalakad lang ako o pauwi. Pa- ako pauwi o nagbibisikleta pagkagaling sa talyer. Pero nahihirapan ako ngayon dahil masakit ang likod ko. Sabi ni Sue. Nagatubili ng konti si Mary pero inihitid pa din niya pauwi si Sue. So, kilala lang ni Mary si Sue sa mukha. Nang inihatid na niya itong pauwi, ikinuwento ni Su ang kalagayan ng kanyang asawa. May demensya ito, may demensya na isang uri ng sakit sa pagkalimot. Nakita niya ang pagod ni Su. Nahihirapan din ito sa pag-aalaga sa asawa niya. Nakinig siya sa kwento ni Su at naramdaman niya ang paghihirap nito. Pinangako niya kay Suna, idadalangin niya siya. At nagalok din siya ng tulong, nagalok din si Mary ng tulong sa abot ng kanyang makakaya. Hindi, sa, hindi na pumunta si Mary sa kapilya kasi uh, nakuha na ni Suwe ang kanyang oras. At, uh, pero naipakita niya ang pagmamalasakit at pagmamahal sa kanyang kapitbahay na nasa isang mahirap na sitwasyon. Ano? Brother, I will translate you later, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I really do have two. Where's the other one? Ah, here, here. Ay, dyan din. How are you? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Okay. Ang uh, lesson is, uh, ang pananampalataya ay nakikita sa gawa. Obviously, di ba? So, uh, we will connect this uh, story later. We will see, okay? So, our uh, title is The Ideal Christian. All right. This is the beginning of the... Uh, start, alright? Okay. So, our text, okay? We read, okay? Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. Do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure. Children of God without fault and warp and a crook generation, then you will shine among them like the stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life and then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I will not run or, or labor in vain But even if I'm being poured out like a drink, offering on the sacrifice and service become from your faith, I'm glad and rejoice with all, with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the, uh, the blessing, the life that you gave us, Lord, this early morning, Lord. And uh, we, are, we are so thankful that we are here now. And hearing your words, Lord. Lord, speak to us in this message, Lord. Uh, uh, change our heart, Lord. Give us a, a soften our hearts, Lord, so we will know uh, what you're trying to say and what you want to, us to do, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, ayan. So, sa Tagalog ito yan. Alright? Ako may Tagalog sa akin. I prepared Tagalog kasi uh, 
ayun nga, Tagalog, Pilipino. Because I'm not uh, good in English, as you can hear. Right? Diyan, Ben. So, ito yung Tagalog natin. The... Sa ating uh, message, sa... Ang, ang, okay, ang, this is the first verse, 12. Therefore, you know, if you are uh, uh, reading the Bible, if you see, therefore, there's a meaning of that. Sa mga, sa, sa ating uh, nagbabasa, there, there's a meaning. We should read the, the context before this one. Therefore, kaya nga, sabi Tagalog, kaya nga. Therefore, in previous verses na, uh, uh, that uh, Kuya Leo uh, delivered last Friday, uh, we, will, we, we can see, you can uh, 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 open your Bible. Okay? Uh, this verse. Uh, there is a promise. Do you, do you, uh, do you uh, uh, remember Do you remember the uh, the Kuyeleo's uh, message, you know? At uh, uh, ano yung uh, what is the the lesson in there? What is the key main key? Care. Uh, that is the Sharonistic natin kay Kuyeleo, no? The Sharon, no? But the the, the key word there I believe is that it's it starts with H. Humility. Yes, humility. All right? There is a promise, exaltation. Jesus is exalted when he humbled himself, right? You will see in verse verse 8 and 9, all right? Ang kinuha kong uh, verse dito ay ESB. And being uh, found in human form, he humbled himself becoming obedient to the point of death. Diba? Narinig niya. Did, did you uh, did you uh, uh, yung mga wala rito? The, the the people that not uh, is not here. Did you watch the uh, uh, video or uh, the online? All right. So is, uh, the verse said there, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. Even on the cross before God, therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed him the name that is above, that, that's above every name. All right. So the key word there, Uh, isa sa mga sinarong ko dyan yung humility. Uh, isa yung kay, yung kay uh, Kuya Leo, yung takes care. Kala ko nga take, na, nauna yung uh, care. Eh. Sabi ko kay Sister Sherry, care takes. But uh, it takes care. You know that already? Do, do, do you have that? Binawan nyo ba yun? Kinain nyo ba yun yung linggo, yung from Sabado to uh, uh, Thursday? Eh, Amin sabihin eh, ginawa nyo ba yun sa inyong mga... I, 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 I mean na, uh, Did you uh, uh, did that apply? Yes. Did that, did you apply that in your uh, family, in your uh, friends, co-workers? Amen. Yes. Yan ang, yan ang, ano, that is the that is the role of our uh, uh, the role of Christianity doing the message, right? All right. So humility. Jesus Christ humbled himself, becoming what obedient. Of course. Actually, sabi nga uh, the uh, brother Leo said it's not all, only obedient. What's that? There's more deeper. They he uh, well, said submission. Yes, submission. Uh, it looks like the same, but there's a different, deeper meaning. Okay. Actually, there's two key words: that's humility and obedience. Now, this where I uh, this now this where I passage the passages begin. Therefore, so. We need to understand the first verse so we can understand, understood this verse, all right? Napag-aral natin, 12 to 18. So, therefore, kaya nga, in Tagalog, uh, therefore, uh, where, where? Okay. Tagalog kasi. It's in Tagalog. I have to translate it again. All right. You know, sometimes, uh, uh, therefore, uh, in our culture, We use it as an expression, you know. Uh, uh, we uh, we ap apply uh, it. Uh, it understand, uh, you know. My English is uh, breaking down. All right. So Tagalog. All right. Uh, uh, we use it in that expression. Kaya nga lagi that. 
But uh, we, we need to know if you said kaya nga, you understand what the being said. Alright? Now, uh, my beloved, talong natin, my dear friends, in my uh, version, they said my beloved. So Paul is, uh, uh, Paul is uh, talking to the Christians here in Philippi. Alright? My beloved, or my dear friends, as you uh, As you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, you know, but much more in my absence. What do, what do, we, what do we uh uh mean by this? As you have always uh obeyed, not only in my presence. So, nasan ba si Paul? Uh, by the way, kung malat makong ma natama ating uh, by the if you will recall, what is the message? Where is Paul? In prison, yes, in prison. Kaya sumusulat siya. Sumusulat siya. Sinusulat niya ito for the brethren. He's saying that not only in my presence that you obey the words, but now much more in my because he's not with them anymore. Alright? Uh, okay, Paul said it's not my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Paul is in jail, remember? Uh, now, lalo kayong maging masunurin ngayong ako'y malayo na dahil sin Tagalog, alright? I believe, uh, uh, tayo, uh, I believe that uh, even our uh, example in the in, in the in our work, I believe even our boss is away. We are obedience. Are we? Are we? Yung yung kubaga, we are not uh, those people that we are keeping working if there's the boss looking at us. We are so We are Christian that we, we, we are working even our boss is not is not there. We, we call that uh, in Tagalog is a uh, what, what do you call that? Pakitang tao ba yun? No. Parang uh, alright. I will uh, tell it later. Alright. Now uh, even we don't see physical physically you know we know that the, our faith is coming from the Bible no? And uh, we don't physically see who is telling us uh, to do this, to do the words. But we know the uh, uh, the Bible is telling us uh, 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 we doing that by our faith in God. Right? It tells us uh, uh, our faith drives us to through Jesus. Okay, His words para we can uh, do His word. All right. Uh, I I will share a little little uh, story. Uh, uh, my I have a friend in the work. You know, katulad niya sabi ko kaya he loves he's so uh, masipag. What's that masipag in English? Diligent. He's so diligent at work. He's only diligent at work when our fire chief is there. But ma- our fire chief is not looking around. She's just sitting only. Is that uh, obedient? Uh, diligent? No, not at all, right? So, now we continue. Continue, uh, we are much more in absent my presence. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. What do, what the Bible means with that? Continue, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Right? Work out. And other meaning is, uh, we have a slide here. Ayan, work out your salvation. Work out in Greek word is katergaseste. Oh, if I uh, uh, pronounce it uh, clear. Katergaseste. It means to bring out. To bring out or to do. Ano? So, uh, medyo confusing, ano? Bakit ipakita? Why, why do we work out? Uh, in the Bible said, in uh, in the... Uh, other letters of Paul said, uh, "We we are saved because of our faith, right? Why is this, uh, Paul said work out? What is the meaning? What he means by this? Work works for your salvation. There's a big difference between work out your own so work uh, it's to work for." Your salvation. This explains in Ephesians 2 and 8. 
Ayan. Ayan. Dito muna tayo sa kula. Ayan. It Ephesians 2 and 8, they said, For it's by grace you have been saved through faith. Right? And this is not from, your, your, from yourself. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Paul said, Paul did not say, work for. He said, work out your own salvation. Right? So meaning is not because of our works, but because of the by, because of by grace of the Lord we have been saved through faith. Amen. It is a gift of God. So uh, who who who? To Tagalog kasi. Uh, who are he dear? Who he? Oh no. <laughs> Tagalog. Sino rito? Ayan. Sino rito ang nagreregalo? Who accept? Give here that he wants to pay for this. Who uh, sino nakatanggap na? Who uh, received gift here that he paid for the gift? Do you pay, pay for the gift? No, it's a gift, right? It's a gift. Huh? If you will pay for that, this is a uh, insult to the giver of the gift, right? So if it, if you will uh, uh, give uh, if you, if somebody uh, give a gift. I mean, uh, if you do something and they will give a gift, it not, it's, it is not a uh, uh, gift already. It is a token. Because you do do work, then I will give you a gift. Right? It's a token or a gratitude. No? You, you, it's a very moment. You, the very moment you accept Jesus Christ to be the Lord and Savior of your life, you believe the finished work in the cross and you humble yourself Meaning, you admit that you are a sinner by faith. Boom! Ayan. Save. The salvation is there. You, you will receive salvation. It is a gift. Right? So the letter of, the Paul, letter of Paul saying, work out your own salvation will not contrary the salvation that we have through our faith. Why? First, Ephesians and uh, Philippians is one Silang, uula, siya lang, uula, siya lang ang sulat niyan. It's only Paul. So it will not contradict, right? It will not. Uh, okay. Si, si, uh, Paul is not a member of, we have, we, we, in, the, in, the, in the Philippines, we have, uh, we have a dancer name, la, uh, excuse me for the word, sex bomb. It is, Paul is not like a, a sex bomb. Laban, laban. Bawe, bawe. Which means that You will fight, then you will withdraw. Fight, we will withdraw. That is that uh, the, that uh, Paul is saying this because we know that the uh, the the Bible is uh, so many uh, uh, author. I mean, uh, the the the. the, the I, 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 maraming sumulat yan. <laughs> okay, the writers, so many writers, but there's only one author, the Holy Spirit, God. So. This the, the, you, the, those who wrote the letters, it will not uh, contradict each other. Always, uh, it means uh, it it explains to it explains each other. I mean, oh, okay, all right. It is a book. Uh, yes, it is one author of the God. Now. Uh, what do we mean work out? It simply means that Bible is saying to us to to live our faith. In other words, you, sh you, you should show it. Ipakita mo sa pamumuhay mo na ikaw iligtas. You should show how how to live with your salvation. Well, you, well, your salvation, you should live differently. Yeah. Amen? Uh, the celebration that you have should be obvious the way you live. Amen? So let's be conscious the way we live. God said, be holy for I am holy. Okay? Uh, we are called to display the character of God. Remember, uh, in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 5, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Wala na yung dating ikaw. It, you are new. Alright? You are a new creation. When you start, when you, the moment you accept Jesus Christ in your life. Alright? And uh, the, 
Of course, the salvation will be given to you as, uh, as your faith. It will be given to you. Well, uh, yung, 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 the, the the old self that you have, you're reliving, it should be gone, all right? The new creation is now. All right. I mean, you you are now brand new. I mean, brand new. Take note. The old, the old has gone, the new has come. Sa saltang yan, may, may natira bang luma? In that word, there is a, may, the, it, is there a, a old a self, a, yung natira, what you, yung uh, left? The, okay. Do you understand? Amen. Okay. The, your old self is gone. Well, uh, Marami sa atin na uh, kasama ko diyan na uh, we are living in a process. Isa, we are, when we when someone telling you uh, tell somebody uh, uh, are you a Christian? Yes. Uh, uh, are you living your faith? Yes. I'm in a progress. We, we you heard that I'm in a progress. I'm in a progress. Right? Minsan uh, sometimes we are uh, we, we we don't want to uh, uh, we don't want anymore to go back in our old life, right? With the moment we are understand the gospel, we don't want to go back in our life. But sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, the uh, 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 yung, yung problema, I mean, the, 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 the temptation, the, the trials, sometimes they, they are pulling us the, to go back in our life. But, you know, uh, we have to examine ourselves. What, where, what, what we are we now? Uh, I mean, uh, Nasana tayo, kumbaga. Where are we? When the time we accept Jesus Christ, are we in the our so, so, uh, our uh, uh, same life before before we accept Jesus Christ, or are there something now uh, new in our uh, life? Ha, papaano natin papaano natin uh, 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 sinusunod ang kanyang salita? Amen. Now I want to emphasize the word your own. To balikan natin muna. Yan, your own. Bakit ya? Work out your own. Why, why own? Right? The word your own here, see, it's, it's, it's the meaning individual. Yan, ano pa sa ano pala? Oh? It's individual. Explaining, uh, uh, I have an uh, example. When you're going to the gym, right? And you want to work out. Uh, you want to make a uh, sexy. Uh, I mean, uh, your body want to uh, make it uh, big, right? Or you meant to make uh, in the girls you want to make a uh, sexy, right? Uh, uh, there's a good th one good thing that you will have to do is to uh, take a gym instructor, right? See, who who's here uh, nag work out? Who nag work out dito? Work out, okay? Do you do you uh, work? Uh, yes, sabi ngati yung work out sa pagkain. Wag mo wag mo shadow, okay? Work out, right? You go to the gym, you will hire instructor, gym instructor. Okay? And your instructor will say, he will inter interview first. Of course, kakausapin, tatanungin ka, he will, he will ask you to you what available time you have. Right? What days are you are available? Right? How many hours? How many days? Uh, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to make uh, bigger? Your bicep, your chest, like that? Okay. That, that, then the gym instructor will all list that one. Alright? And that uh, program, it will be for you only, for me only. I, I uh, uh, example for me only. It will be fit for you, my time, maybe some time, but other time. But it will not exact exactly uh, will fit. So, by what I mean is the our uh, work out, uh, working out, out our salvation. It 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 will be individual, all right? Meaning to say, it's personally fit to you. I have example verse here in John 21, 18 to 23. If you will know this uh, verse, this is the verse that Jesus Christ uh, tell to Peter how he will be die, uh, how will he will die. You know, you will if you will uh, you open the verse, John 21. Uh, Jesus Christ is uh, telling to Peter. Uh, what uh, papano siya mama, kung papano siya mama tayo, uh, what he, uh, in what way he will die, right? And 
uh, Peter said uh, when they're walking in the beach, in the walking in the beach, right? And he saw John. He saw John there. And he said, Lord, uh, uh, I thought uh, if it is uh, sana tama, uh, papano si John, sabi niya. Uh, how, 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 how about John? I said. And Jesus said, and Jesus said, uh, uh, if he will uh, uh, still alive, if I come, what is, how, what is with you? Is that correct? Uh, ano sa iyo? You know? So, so we have uh, been uh, learning that our salvation is individual. We, we, are not, we don't have to care about how he's living, but make sure that you're living, your faith is right. Amen? So all we have been learned so far with these verses, uh, can, can we do it by our own? Can we do it by our own? All right? It's clear na hindi, hindi natin kayang gawin yan. Pero ito yung sinasabi, ito yung awesomeness nila. This is how awesome is our God. All right? How can it be possible? Dito tayo tinutulungan ni Lord. In the verse 13, for it's God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His goodness. It is hard for ourselves to work out our salvation without the help of the Lord. Because our faith comes from the Lord. This is the good, this is the awesome of, of, the, uh, of God. He teach us how to live in His will. At the same time, He is helping, he is helping us na mangyari yun sa buhay natin, it will be possible in our life. Uh, kagustuhan niya, kaya ang pagsusumikap natin ay magiging magaan. This is his will that that's why our work, uh, working out our salvation will be easy because of the the Lord. He's helping us. He's equipping us. Alright? Uh, let's continue on verse 14. Here. At ito yung uh, verses na aking uh, uh, this is the verses I, that I can uh, uh, I, I add to uh, eh, to explain more of these verses. In uh, I I what is, I can do Philippians four thirteen. I know. Nalimutan ko na I can do all thing all this through Him who give me strength. Uh, uh, do you know? Do you recall? Pastor Aldrin uh, said that uh, in this verse. Ito ba yung magiging uh, you will be Superman? No, right? It, it's uh, obviously the uh, uh, Bible is telling us to we will become uh, he will be, he will give us strength to work out our salvation. Uh, and uh, in the uh, other verse, by God will meet our, all our needs according to riches and his glory in Christ Jesus. All right. What me? What must be the ideal Christian now? All right. At yung, uh, what is that is our uh, message, right? Uh, ideal Christian. So what must be the ideal Christian? First, all right. In Philippians 2:14, we must deal with our attitude. So tina natin ang verse nyan muna, okay? Here. Ayun. 14. Do everything without grumbling or arguing, okay? Ang dapat maging ugali ng Kristiyano ay huwag in Tagalog pagreklamo. Ag uh, grumbling is reklamo. Are we reklamador? Are we uh, that, that type of this guy uh, are always in grumbling and arguing? Church? Big and all, right? Amen? No, we are not like this. Maybe sometimes, but we have to calibrate ourselves, right? We should not be reclamador. Uh, wag tayo magtalo-talo or uh, in Tagalog, uh, ay in English is uh, yet arguing. Uh, wag tayo magtatalo-talo, wag tayo magtampuhan. You know, tampo? Uh, what is tampo in English? Okay, arguing, right? Walang kristyanong reclamador. There is not, there is no Christian reclamador or uh, uh, grumbling. Okay? Walang kristyano matampuin. You know, I, 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 I remember the message of Ate Helen. You know, uh, 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 we should shine, right? 
Uh, you, you remember that shine. We will tackle it also here, okay? Uh, this also an ex uh, example that we have worked out our salvation with fear and trembling to the Lord. If truly, if truly know how big is the love of God for us, kung alam natin, if it's really true, how big the love of the Lord for us, are we make, are we going to grumble pa? Are we make the grumbling, arguing? Not anymore, right? Emi po ba? Okay. Secondly, okay. Secondly, the fruit of the Spirit must be obvious in our lives. We know that the, the fruit of the Spirit, right? It is a uh, nine, uh, you know, ako hindi ko alam. Seven, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Uh, ayun, uh, gentleness, self-control. Kasi, are you, if you are self-control, you, you have to be, are you being in situation of angry, ar arguing? Not anymore, right? So, this must be obvious in our lives. In Galatians 5, 20 to 23, you will find this verse, the fruit of the Spirit. It should be obvious uh, so that you may become blameless children of God without fault and what a crooked generation. Sa Tagalog, upang kayo maging ulirang anak ng Diyos, we should stand out. Alright? We should stand out. So that you became blameless and pure. Children of God without the fault warp and the crook generation. You know, our world is, uh, you know, it's damaged already. Some people, they want to make it, ano, yung, yung, you know, they hold back the, the earth, the, the, the world. But we know the earth will be destroyed in the end of, end of times, right? But sometimes they want to make it hold back. But, in that situation, we should not be, uh, we should not be uh, camouflaged. You see, in the, in the, in the Bible, it said, crooked generation. We should be stand out. That's why we are working out our salvation. Amen? Okay. We should be stand out. Do not blend in the world. In Romans 12, 2, it's, uh, in Romans 12, 2, Okay, do not conform to the pattern of this world. I did not already put it. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Alright? Ano, uh, sa akin, uh, in my, uh, in my uh, 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 testimony, is a uh, uh, short testimony, when I, I know myself before, when I, I, I uh, when the time I, uh, I, I compare myself before, when I when the time I uh, accept Jesus Christ, you know, I I already I spoke to my uh, wife. Uh, I told to her, you know, uh, napansin ko, I I I uh, napansin. What is it, napansin? Uh, I I noticed myself the changes in my life. Once once I, I I'm a big liar. I'm a big, I did not boast this. I, I gusto ko pang kaya, but I need to tell this so I I can encourage one another. How the Lord changed me. You know, once I'm a liar, I am a uh, may tinang ulo. You know, when may tinang ulo, uh, tempered, tempered, hard head yan. Alright? And uh, I am a, I am a stealer. You know what's still, uh, uh, what they call that? Maganakaw. I already, uh, I already shared this before. And I am so, uh, you know, nahiya ako. But let me this this uh, uh, my testimony will encourage you. You should work out your salvation, not work out by own by own by your own self, but be because of the love of the Lord, by faith, because of His love. All right, and it will not be easy, but take heart. God is working on you. Okay? We continue. Okay? Uh, that you will be shine among them like stars in the sky. Let your light shine. Okay? Uh, our, uh, or we should stay, we should say, let uh, Jesus shine in you. 
remember I shared before, uh, whoever will meet you should meet Jesus Christ. Example, uh, if I meet uh, Sister Ling, uh, if uh, Sister Ling will meet me, I should display the character of God or Jesus Christ in my life. Yeah, you will meet me as Kenneth, but I should, I should say, yeah, uh, uh, much more. Jesus will see in me, that the character of Jesus. More so, uh, we have to work it out. You know, I I didn't say work it out, but by your own self. I always uh always reminding you, you cannot work out your your uh, salvation, or uh, you cannot be good by your own only. You should it should be coming from your faith it's it's byproduct you know all right let's continue uh uh let's continue okay verse 16 as you hold firmly to the word of the lord or word of life okay word of uh as you continue where are we okay habang ipinapahayag niyo yung salita na nagsisil nagbibigay ng uh buhay in tagalog Meaning, working out our salvation is to sharing the gospel. How? Proclaiming the good news. This is how, this is the Great Commission. In dito Great Commission ng, ng uh, is a group. It's a Great Commission individual. That's why we we uh, we learn in the the uh, first uh, the 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 verses. Your salvation, working out your salvation, it's individual. Okay. Remember sharing. Uh, sharing the good news. Okay? Whoever will meet... Uh, I mean, sorry. Remember, Paul is in jail, right? It's because of the gospel. He's in jail because of the gospel. We already uh, tackled before. He's in jail because of the gospel. The passion of Paul is the gospel, right? And he's saying that it should be our passion too. As sinasabi niya, dapat maging ganun din tayo. Remember our Great Commission... Jesus commands us of claiming the good news. All right? It's it's our obligation. Pananagutan natin bilang tunay na matapat na anak ng Diyos. Just like his uh, letters in Romans, I am under obligation, born to Greeks and to barbarians, to the wise and to the foolish. So I am eager to preach the gospel to you, also who are in Rome. Sana malaman natin to. In the moment we understand the gospel, and you accept the gospel, you don't own yourself anymore. Alright? God's own you now. Not because of slave of everything, but yes, slave of His love. I want to emphasize the obligation here, you know. Uh, this is the uh, I, example. Uh, I just get this in the other pastor. You know? uh, when, when the time we receive the gospel, just like uh, Paul said, He's uh, he's uh, under uh, he's now obligated to share it, just like this, huh? Just like this. Example, uh, me, I have uh, valuable. Uh, we will uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, imagine this is uh, a valuable thing. I mean, oh, I mean, uh, this is ten thousand reals. Okay, just uh, just imagine ten thousand real. Then I want to uh, give this the uh, this ten thousand reals to. Uh, uh, Kuya Orly. Now, Kuya Orly, I want to give this. But I can I don't have uh, a, a access to give it. So I will just, I will give, I will uh, uh, g- uh, uh, give it to Brother Jen, uh, Brother Ben. Come on, Brother Ben. Come on, example only. So, Brother, uh, I'm sorry. Alex, Brother Alex. Come on, come on, come on. Brother Alex. So, can you give this uh, to uh, uh, this 10,000 reals to Brother Orly? So I give it to him, right? Now, the moment he accepts this one, he's now obliga- obligated to give it to Brother Orly. Now, because if he will not give it to, she will be what? Uh, I mean, uh, he will be responsible for this one, for the, for the money, right? Thank you, thank you, Brother Alex. So that is just like the Paul said, he's obligated. Just like, uh, just like us. We receive the gospel. Are we? Amen. We receive the gospel. Now, we are now obli- we are now in obligation, just like Paul, to share it to others. Right? Just like said, just like Jesus said, 
when he's uh, uh, going to heaven, I mean, uh, he's uh, uh, ascending to the heaven, going back, they said, preach the gospel, right? Uh, to all nation, he said, right? And I will be, diba, pag, pagkatapos nun, after that, I will be with you. Hindi ka naman mag you will not be alone. It's hard to preach the gospel, I mean, right? It's hard, there's a, there's a, Uh, sometimes there's a struggle there, rejection. I mean, uh, uh, sometimes you, they will persecute you. Ano ka ba? Napaka, napaka, uh, ja, joho mo naman. Like that, ano ka ba? You know, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to take it. But we should, we should take this, uh, we should take this, uh, no, seriously. You know? Then, where are we? Okay, Pananag, pananagutan natin yan bilang matapat na anak. So, okay. So, yes. So, uh, we, are, we are about to end now. Just like, gas, uh, just like the gospel, the moment you accept it, you are responsible to share it. Just like Jesus commands us. Alright? Live your life in a Christian way. This is how we should, brothers and sisters, work out your own salvation. Alright? Take a moment to read Romans 12. Right, take in the Romans 12, uh, Bible says, uh, Bible is a uh, uh, teaching us how to live a Christian way. Marami yun. You will know, but if you have a uh, time later at the room, take a moment to read that Romans 12, just a long chapter. But of course, it will be hard, of course, that we said rejection, criticism, anger, faction, sometimes faction, eh, familia. You, you, do, do you uh, uh, experience that? You're sharing the gospel in your uh, family and they will, then they will they will uh, papalayasi ka bahay They will uh, accept, desert you like that. Criticism just like Paul experience. As we remember, Paul did, had, did have a hard time sharing the gospel but, stay, but still he did not stop. You know, don't worry. Sabi nga, don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. You know the song? Don't worry, be happy. In the Lord. Okay? Our shopping is just like this. Just like this. You know? Nakita nyo na ba sa Facebook? Sakita ko lang to sa Facebook. Our shopping is just like this. You see the... Uh, the uh, desert yeah, and this guy he did his uh, finger and he got something in his finger this is this is how we are suffered i i interpret this this is only how we suffered compare the eternity you know this is this is uh that's await us i mean compared to the eternity, the eternity that's await us That awaits us. Now, as we close in Philippians uh, chapter 2, 17, 18, sa kabila ng lahat, sabi nga, sa kabila ng lahat ng iyan, sakripisyo at servisyo natin para sa ikalalakas ng pananampalatay ng bawat isa, we should glad and be rejoice. Malapit na tayo. Okay? You see? Look at these two guys. Sino ba ito? If you're, it's Paul and Silas, right? They are in jail. But still, you know, you see their faces. Are they, are they like crazy? Are they like, are, are they like crazy guys? Yes, maybe, right? If they're in jail and their, their legs in, is, uh, ha, they have like that in their legs, but still they're praising the Lord. We should do Sometimes I, I told you already to our, myself, it's okay to be, ako yung maloko, ma, uh, I will be crazy, but It's be there's a one thing why you are crazy. Crazy for the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, don't give up. Always rejoice in the Lord. Now, the root word of rejoice, that's why I have read the uh, bark is the rejoice, is what? What else? Joy, right? Joy. Joy. Ito ang Sharonistic natin. Nakuha ko lang ito eh. Nakuha ko lang sa <laughs> but I want to uh, uh, make it clear. Our, sh our source of joy should be 
Christ Jesus Christ, right? Para tunay tayong maging maligaya sa buhay, maging ang source natin joy. You know, when you come here, you should be in joy, right? It's hard to be joy in life kung hindi siya galing sa puso. It's hard to be uh, being joy if it is not in coming into your heart. It's hard. Sometimes the Bible said, there's a place malungkot, there's a place that sad but inside is joy. It's better like that. But you're pretending you're joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But inside you have you have regrets. You have something in your heart. Burdens. You know, it's time to surrender. You know, wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang, wait lang. All right. So, joy. First, J-O-Y. Put Jesus first in your life. All right? Always put in your life. Sinabi pa nga Sister RB. Nag-usap ka ba Jesus first. Jesus first. And the overflowing of joy that you will have, that you cannot contain, will result you will result you to share to others. Amen? Hindi mo kaya eh. Paano eh? Pag hindi mo kaya, siyempre i-share mo yan. Eh sinabi pa nga ni Paul, obligated ka pa nga i-share eh. What more? You have to share it. Para maranasan naman nila. First of all, sa ating pamilya. Diba? Yung mga hindi pa nakakail. Those people that you can, uh, your family that uh, is not Christian yet. Share Jesus Christ. Jesus and others. And Obviously, the why, if you believe that Jesus Christ is the source of your joy, you will never be the last because your joy is Jesus. Amen. Bless God. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the message, Lord. Lord, we pray that uh, this message, Lord, will be... Uh, impact in our life. Help us to work out our salvation, Lord. Let, let, help us, Lord, to uh, this message will be manifest in our life. And, Lord, uh, if uh, we stumble, if we fall, while we are working out our salvation, Lord, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. And, uh, Make us, Lord, uh, make our light shine. Make our light shine. We thank you, Father God, for this day. We thank you, Father God, for the words. And, Lord, the joy that coming from you will uh, uh, help me, Lord, to share it to others. And I know, Lord, I will not be the last. Because you, you my, me, will be in your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow, what a wonderful message for today. So, now, God will test our faith uh, through my exhortation when it comes to tithes and offering. So, this uh, Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Is this the one? Uh, NIV. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, and cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. And it is also said in, in Luke chapter. 11 verse 42 uh, Woe to you Pharisees because you give God a tenth of your mint, rue, and all ca- kinds of garden garden herbs but you neglect justice and the love of God. You should have practiced the latter without the leaving the former undone. So uh, church, br- uh, brothers and sisters, the key word here is uh, neglect. Okay? So if you are just giving uh, your money you know, and then uh because the Lord God um, sees our heart, okay? It doesn't matter how, how much the amount that you're giving, how little, how, 
how big. And uh, for that, for the third verse that I would like to share is this Second uh, Corinthians chapter uh, nine, verse seven. It says, "The third, the third verse." Ah, okay, okay. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheer, a cheer, a cheerful giver. So the second word that I would like to impart to you is to give cheerfully. So actually, um, there are four, four, uh, like uh, character that that God wants you to have on on giving. No, it's it's like you you don't give on um because somebody told you to give. You give voluntarily. You give because because God blesses you and um. Because God loves you, and because you love God also, and loving God doesn't mean that only Him. You God, uh, you you love God, you love other people as well. Because we know that God is love, and one uh, the second commandment, no, uh, love, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So in giving, it's not only about money. Actually, we have three, three T's. You know, it it it's, it stands for time, talent treasure okay so we treasure means money any valuable that we have car big house our job you know and if you do not have treasure you have time time means by what attending this service if you are sick you can attend online you can you can study uh, uh, the Bible online if, if you if you do not still have time I'm sure you have talent. Talent to what? To glorify our God. Okay? So, you, you don't have any reason not, not to give. It's not all about money, brothers and sisters. You can give time by what? By um, discipling other people. By sharing your story. So that, because many people, uh, many people doesn't know God. And um, it's like, it's like also what uh, Kuya Kenneth shares, you know, that is one way of testing God. The joy. Joy means what? Jesus first. Others. And then you last. And I wanted, I wanted to share, you know, um, when God called me to give this exhortation, it comes to tithing, no? It's like also a testimony of how God blesses you. Of how God, not only you, your family, your friends, your workmates, you know? So, this is the story that I want to share. You know, when, when God called me to be part of this ministry, the service coordinator, this is how, how um, God started. You, you know, when, when, when Christians saying that when you become a Christian, there are more problems will come. And, and I, it's true because now I'm facing with a lot of problems, especially with, with, with my parents because they are both sick. Actually, last year, they got sick already and we already sheltered um, a big huge amount to to you know for this for for their sickness you know because when your parents get getting hospitalized and you're also buying medicines you know for their maintenance and all that and uh, just uh, last month uh, my father has this prostate and we don't really even know if uh, this is cancerous but he got hospitalized for more than for more than a month i think it's one one month and uh one and a half month and um of course uh money is involved because when you're in the philippines it's not like there's always a free correct so there's a deal with with when it comes to to the money and you know you know what you know what uh, brothers and sisters uh, what what me what I realize is that because I, I have four brothers and 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 for them they're not really uh, religious or they're not really you know prayerful you know but uh, my two of my brothers are one is in Spain and one is in Ireland and before he went to Ireland just last year he became a Christian uh, with this uh, victory and then because we are facing right now um, 
when it comes to money because both of my parents are sick. My mother, my mother, uh, her left eye is about, I think it's already blind, and he must, she must go into the operation. So you see, brothers and sisters, even though I am facing a lot, or because I have also plans for myself. You know what? Um, I have these plans. Just recently, I just um, uh, made this plan to go study, work, and live in an English country. And still, I need a lot of money. So you see, um, even though God is bombarding me with this, uh, with this um, problems, because at the end of at the end of this, it's all about the money. But why am I standing here? It's because I'm encouraging you, brothers and sisters, that you should put trust, your faith, your hope, your love to our Lord Jesus Christ. At the end of this all, it's not about what you give. God sees your heart. It, it, because you know what? I just realized this because my brother called me one day because we are, I will use the brother Kenneth's word, grumbling. Me and my brothers, we are grumbling because we are all uh, we are three of my uh, two of my brothers. All of us three are OFW. We are working abroad, and you know, if you are working abroad, it means that you are having this um, big amount of money. But still, even if we are receiving big amount of money, we we send it to the to the Philippines because my, both of my parents are sick, and my two brothers who lives in the Philippines, they couldn't they couldn't give because. Um, there, there are salaries just good for their family. We are grumbling and we are pointing that I already give a huge amount of money. Why I have to give again? So you see, my brother called me because he's a Christian and I'm so happy because he's the one uh, God gave the message to him. That's the, that's the exact word that he gives to me that, you know what, Kat? I receive a message from God. You see what's happening to us? We are grumbling over the money. It's just a, it's just, it's just that it is just the money, okay? So you see, God sees your heart, okay? So that's all that I want to give. Thank you. So kindly stand, and uh, it's about time to give our offering to the Lord God. And so also, kids, kindly prepare. Offertory for dance offertory.
Um, Wow! Napakagaling. Amazing! Amazing kids, thank you. Next week ulit. <laughs> okay, uh, brothers and sisters, kindly raise our hand so to pray for our offering. Uh, Lord God, uh, we pray for our tithes and offering. May, may this uh, use to, to glorify you, O Lord God, to advance to your kingdom, O Lord. Uh, Lord God, uh, we thank you, O Lord, for our job because this is uh, like a medium or it becomes an instrument, O Lord, for the source of our income. And uh, Lord, um, may, may you use this to bless others, other people as well who is in need. And all of this, Lord, uh, uh, we give thanks and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we lift them up, O oh Lord, to you, all our problems in life, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will go now to our church announcements. So during the course of the week, we have uh, activities and these are mostly on online. So if you have a uh, spare time, especially during the night, uh, please uh, join. These are our uh, schedule during the course of the week. We have intercessory prayer, 8.30 to 10 p.m. on Saturdays. And during Sundays, we have Bible School. And for information, kindly contact 5034-2733. On Mondays, we have In-Depth Bible Study, 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is live via Zoom. So if you will be joining, uh, uh, our uh, church will share the video. So Tuesdays, we have the Couples Bible Study, 8.30 to 10 p.m. as well. This is also live via Zoom. And Friday, we have our worship service. So Wednesday and Thursday, we don't have. So we, have, we can have also our uh, Friday worship service uh, via Facebook live, live. So if you are not available, to come here in person, you can uh, watch during uh, through the Facebook Live. So these are all the announcements, and see you again during the course of this week and next Friday. Praise the Lord! Thank you, Ate Emily. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Church, are we blessed? Amen. Yes, we are blessed. You know, I'm blessed, brothers and sisters. 
And before we proceed to benediction, I'd like to tell you, if you have been, uh, what do you call this? If you have been paying attention, really, to Kuya Kenneth, I know he's making it comical, you know, to make us laugh. But it's the part of how God is making us grow. You know, we have preachers with varying, I could say, diver diversified type of preachers. Kuya Kenneth, comical. No. Kuya Leo, uh, educational. Yan. Praise the Lord. Diba? Uh, Ate Helen, uh, with, anong tawag doon? With conviction. Yan. Diba? Ate Presi, same, with conviction. No? BJ, you know, I, I don't have to enumerate no, everyone, but I mean, that's how God is diversifying our church, you know? And I, to I told you, if you have been paying attention, brothers and sisters, it was paid at work here in the middle. Not in the middle, we are in the side actually. Paid at work here in the pulpit. You know why? Brother Kenneth was talking about God. Uh, God empowering us. And he was talking about how he, he is uh, having difficulties speaking in English. But yet, where, where is he? He is here right before you. Why? Why? That's because of his faith. That's what we've been studying, right? Faith will translate into obedience. So that's why, even though he has that difficulty, but because of his faith in God, sabi nga kanina, joy, Jesus first, yung faith niya sa Lord, and then yung love niya for others that emanates from, the, from his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, from our God the Father, nagagawa niya yun. No? Even though, last na yung sarili niya eh, even though he is shy, actually, hindi nga siya naging shy, no? he is very open in telling us that he has difficulty speaking in English. But I like that about him. He is uh, true, you know. Hindi siya na, sabi niya, plastic, no? yung hinahanap niyang words kanina. He's not trying to be plastic, but he is true. And that's who our God is. He is true, no, brothers and sisters. And uh, I just like to... Uh, Highlight yung Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Sabi, For it is God who works in you to will, to act, in order to fulfill the good purpose of our God. It's really the Lord Himself, you know, who acts. Sa, kaya nga, dun sa Galatians chapter 5, verse 20, and the fruit of the Spirit, meaning yung tinrabaho ng banal na Espiritu, lumalabas sa atin yung manifestation, no? Nagmamanifestate yung, yung mga fruits ng Holy Spirit. Number one, yung love, joy, peace, forbearance, no? uh, kindness, patience. Amen? Faithfulness. Yan po, brothers and sisters. Kaya naman, kaya naman, in our church, we really emphasize yung ating faith, yung ating pananampalatay. And I know that all of us here has this faith in God. Why? Because if not, we will not be here, right? Sister RB, I know first time we met, we met Sister RB, but I know he has, she has that faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Even uh, Sister, I forgot her name, Sister Sheila, right? It's not about who invited us, but it's about us seeking God. That's why we are here. That's why I know, brothers and sisters, we are blessed. Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Malakpakan po natin ang Diyos. Amen? And one last thing. If we are experiencing trouble, if we are experiencing problems, don't think that God is the one giving us this problem. The Bible says, God does not tempt us. Although, He allows this, yung mga problems. Why? The, does God not love you? Actually, God loves you so much, that's why He allows it. Because it builds up your faith, it produces in you what we call perseverance. Amen? 
Because if a Christian has, does not persevere in trouble, then he is not a genuine Christian. No, that's how our faith is growing and building up. Amen? Praise the Lord. God bless you, brothers and sisters. And now we will proceed to our benediction. I would like to ask everyone to stand, please. Let us pray. And before we go to our benediction, uh, we would like to pray for our brothers and sisters who are who are sick. Let us pray. Let us close our eyes and feel the presence of our God. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the life of everyone, Lord, who you have used today. Truly, Lord, this is the day that you have made for everyone. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in it, Father. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, from the worship team, preaching, tithes and offering, exhortation, Lord, all your people that you use, bless them, Father. And I pray, Lord, that maging kagamit-gamit pa po sila sa iyong ubasan, Father. That they will be able to touch lives, Lord. Those lives that are in dire need of you, Father. Those lives that in need of relationship with you, a true relationship with you, Lord. Lord, right now, I pray, Holy Spirit, embrace them. Hug them with your love. Hug them, Lord. Let the fruit of the Spirit have manifestation in them. Thank you, Father. Thank you for everything, Lord God. Truly, Lord, everything is possible because of you alone. You are the one why we are here, why we are gathered together, Father. And therefore, we glorify you. We praise you. We worship you in our midst, Lord. Let you be magnified, be glorified, Father, in our presence, Lord. And Lord, <coughs> we remember our brothers and sisters, Father, and even our relatives who are sick. First, Lord, I would like to pray for the parents of Ate Catherine. We have heard her, Father. And I believe it is you, O Holy Spirit, who encourage her to speak out so that those words may become an encouragement for us who may be suffering, who may be, who may be um, uh, experiencing the same, the same type of suffering, problems, trials that Ate Catherine ex is experiencing. But Father, we ask and pray for healing for her parents, Lord God, for that potential cancer. Let that be just a potential cancer. Let that not be a cancer. And even, even for the blindness of her mother, Lord. And as we ask this, Lord, this healing, we ask not just to heal them, Father, but make use of this healing. Be an opportunity, Father, to share your love, to share your word to them so that, Lord, they will come back to you with, thanks, with thanksgiving, Father, knowing that it is you, O oh Lord, the God whom Ate Catherine is serving, whom Ate Catherine is worshiping, is the one who healed them, Lord. And let that, let that event, Lord, cement the faith of Ate Catherine, strengthen the faith of Ate Catherine, Father. We lift up her mother to you and her father, Lord Jesus. Even, Lord, we... Remember Kuya Ramil who is in Hamad Hospital right now. And I thank you, Father, because just this morning, Lord, the good news I received that the fluids from his heart, Lord, is starting to go. So we thank you, Father, because in three days, he will come out and we will be with him, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. And Ati Jean, Lord, who is suffering from chronic kidney disease, Lord, I pray that you always be with him be with her father wherever she is right now and i pray lord that through this sickness lord let perseverance manifest father let her faith grow lord god because she knows that in times like this father you are the only one that she can count on lord god even lord our ate christina i pray for her 
full healing, Father. Heal her completely in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for all, for all these people, our brothers and sisters that we love, Lord, that you love more. Lord, heal them, Father. We lift them up to you, Lord God. Thank you for everything, Lord Jesus. And I pray for this, my brothers and sisters, Lord, your people, the church, the saints. I pray for them, Lord God. Pakaingatan mo po sila, Lord. In the message, the other Friday says, takes care. Lord, we know that you take care of us. But have give us this heart who takes care of one another, Father. Thank you for everything, Lord. And as I release your words, Lord, as I read and release your word, let this have a manifestation to everyone, Father. Church, let us raise our hand as a sign of receiving the blessings, the words from As I read the words of the Lord that says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going. May the Lord make your love increase and over each other and for else, just as ours does for you. May He strengthen your heart so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Church, perform and through Him and for Him are all things. To Him be the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Go in peace, church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the God. Praise the Jesus. Church, God bless everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise. DJ.